Hit randomize again. Play that with the loop. It's like magic, dude. Holy moly. Coming up with a melody or a chord progression can be pretty difficult sometimes. So why not start with some other type of melodic rhythmic soundscape? I'll show you how to do that today. Let's dive in. Today I'm going to be starting from scratch, so you get to see the entire process of creation. What I usually do is start off with some type of kick, and I have a new pack coming out very soon. I'm currently still working on it. It's called Tulum. It's going to be like deep tribal organic stuff, so stay tuned. I'm just going to select a kick for now and construct a bit of a groove. So four to the floor, right? Let me just take this one and loop it up. Sounds pretty solid. Let me reduce the volume a bit so we have a bit more headroom. Cool. And now I'll just create a bit of a groove. I'll add some subtle percussions on top of each other. Yeah, maybe just like little details. And I'll play the groove within a certain loop here. Just add subtle percussion on top. Just stack loops first, get a bit of a rhythmic foundation going. And I'm gonna group these, call them subtle perk make him yellow and add a low cut so we keep it clean leave some space for the base let's get the hi-hat going or the shaker loop so drums one shots shakers very good kind of drop it into a midi clip double click and create a shaker loop. So let's go into eighth note, every second eighth note, loop it up here. C3 is the default pitch. Now we can hot swap the sample. This one sounds interesting. More Afro-ish. I'll add a top loop on top to fill out the groove to glue it up together. Just reduce this guy here so we can preview. Perfect. I'm gonna take this guy and just reduce its volume here. Also gonna add a low cut here. Dampen out the high end a bit. Maybe reduce the flickiness of the kick. There we go. Reduce the volume here. Cool. So now I have my basic rhythm going, but how do I proceed from now? There's a little secret trick that I like to use. Don't tell this anyone. It's really, really good. I'm going to load up a Roser step sequencer. I found it a couple of years ago and I use it till today. One of the best sequencers for Ableton Live and it's a Max for Live device. Load that in here into a MIDI track and now I'm gonna look for a sample. So you can load any instrument here, right? So you can load up a Diva synth, you can load up a Serum or whatever synthesizer, or you could also load up samples and that's exactly what we're gonna do now. And I have a preset pack with some WAV files in here too, Synthesia has some melodic stuff here and that's what we're going to work with maybe this just drag the sample in here hit slice and it'll sound pretty terrible in the beginning because it just triggers that first slice but if we hit randomize on the notes here cool cool little sound combinations and it already generates us uh some rhythmic melodic variation pretty cool i like it but it doesn't sound the way i want it to sound just yet so what i'm gonna do is add a echo to give it a bit more panning and a bit of extra dotted eighth note delays increase that feedback here hit it on ping pong and since it's pretty static i'm gonna increase the fade out time so it sounds shorter maybe also fade in so it has a bit of an attack And what I'm going to do is head into controls, activate this filter here. And perhaps we can also create a bit of a LFO here. So what we're going to do is change the shape to saw and increase the volume. So it becomes more da -da 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 -da. <laughs> very professional explanation. <laughs> 
but we only want it to be mapped to the volume, right? We can also increase the length here, so if we want a more complex progression, let's say we can also double the length to 32, hit randomize again. Play that with the loop. It's like magic, dude. Holy moly. And we can also use some other plugin. I'm going to resolve to Echo Boy Jr. because I find that to be a pretty cool plugin. It's included in the Sound Toys bundle. And for anyone that's looking for any cool third party effects plugins to start off with, I highly recommend the Sound Toys bundle. Set it to ambient. Dotted eighth note delay is pretty cool. But to be honest, I'm going to go with a different sound. So I'm going to hit show in browser. Maybe go for a pad sound or something else. Cool. This one sounds kind of like all day I dream. And what I'm going to do is just increase the feedback here. So I have a bit of a rhythmic texture already in the background but i still feel like it's very low end there's a lot of rumble so i'm gonna add a whoa it's a bit long the feedback here let's reduce that add a low cut after the delay plugin here maybe take out some of those harsh resonant frequencies here and let's reduce the sensitivity down so it doesn't have a lot of slices to play with and jumps more throughout the entire sample Oh my god, dude. And you can also create sweeps so it doesn't have to play consistently. Just reduce the frequency here and then just sweep it in. Or just like this. You can also change the pitch here. Let's go for another sound though. Maybe this one here. Notice how it already fills out your drum groove with a bit of a melodic texture. And that makes it easier for you to come up with melodies or chord progressions because you already have some melodic information in your track already. Let's say I like this one. I'll create an audio track, hit resampling, and as a matter of fact, let's make it a bit more interesting. One of my favorite, all time favorite delay plugins is Color Copy. So I'm going to load that in here and disable the Echo Boy Jr. And you can use any plugin, to be honest. You can also stick with Ableton Default's Echo. You can also stick with Delay. I just like using third-party plugins in this case to use the wider spectrum of plugins that I have installed. Increase the regen. Keep it on dotted eighth note. It's my favorite one. Sixteenth also works well. Let's see how it sounds when we sweep it in the delay. blows my mind how effective and beautiful this technique is. Resampling, enable that here. And now let's hit record. Oh, excuse me. We don't want to resample everything. That's what resampling does. It just takes in everything. But we only want the audio from track nine, right? So we're going to hit track nine, post mixer. Okay, let's just hit play. And now mess around with the filter here. Cool. I also hit Command Z to undo that little recording at the beginning. If you accidentally overwrite your take, you can hit Command Z or Control Z to resolve to the previous recording. So let's disable the first layer and work with audio now. Now we can process the audio. I still feel like there's a lot of resonance in this sound. And even though I can use EQ, I would like to use a dynamic resonance suppressor. It's called Sooth2. Interesting plugin. I don't use it a lot because it does add a bit of latency to the track, as you can see down here. A lot of latency. But every now and then, if I like to render the audio, I use this guy. Increase the depth. You can see there's a bit of resonance here. Before. Just takes out those harsh peak notes which I find to be pretty helpful. That's all we need. Right click, freeze track, right click, flatten track. So now we don't have the Sooth plugin causing any latency. We have everything rendered out here.
Awesome. So we have a bit of a little texture going on here. Now I'm going to add a diva. Divalicious. Going to load up a preset of mine and... So that's our root note there. It's a B, B minor. Go for a little plucky thing. Let's play that with the rest. And if you're not sure of what notes to play and you know the root note of your track or the scale, you can also load up a scale plugin. MIDI effects, scale, and you have a bunch of different scale options you can choose. If you wanna go for something that sounds more like Cafe d'Anatolia or some kind of like oriental type sound, you can also choose Phrygian, Phrygian dominant, I find to be very helpful. There we go, Phrygian dominant. And since we're in the scale of B, let's select B. Now we're playing all the notes that are within the B Phrygian dominant scale. And if we double click this region over here, we create a MIDI clip. If we double click the MIDI clip, we get to draw in notes within our piano roll. And here we also have an option to select scale. Select B, which is the root note. Dum. And we get to choose our scale. And you see, you also have a bunch of different options here. And guess what? Phrygian dominant. So you also get to see which notes are in the Phrygian dominant scale or the Phrygian scale. You see the highlighted notes, they change. So helpful. If you don't know music theory exactly, you can just select a scale and get to know what notes are in there. I still like to use this a lot, but let's stick with Phrygian dominant now and come up with some interesting melodies that fit to our melodic soundscape that we have going. So preview by hitting head phones. Oh, notice how that sounds already so oriental. Just gonna draw in some simple notes, maybe change the velocity of some. But if we select a different preset, like this one, Beautiful. And I can take the same effects from up here, copy them, paste them down here. So we have the delay applied. It's a bit too much feedback for my taste. Add an auto filter. Make it more backgroundy. Maybe add another preset. Who knows? Just go through presets here. Beautiful. Gonna shape the sound here. Make it pluckier by reducing decay and sustain. See? We already have the foundation of a track within our little eight bar loop here. So at this point, we can just take whatever we have and duplicate and start arranging. All right, so let's say in the beginning, we take out the melody. We start slowly fading in the atmosphere that we've created, the rhythmic little soundscape. And then we take our idea and put it into reality, right? Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like these sounds, grab them using the links down below and like and subscribe to stay tuned for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I would like... <laughs>